welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here then welcome, my name is Sonia Sood. In today's video I thought I would film something that I would normally wear on a night out. So this look doesn't have any eyeshadow in it, it's just a wing liner, dewy skin and red lip tutorial. Um, I just like looking a bit more natural on a night out and I don't know, the red lips just kind of make me look a bit more bougie. So yeah, I'm just going to get started straight away. If you do like this video, then please leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to share and subscribe. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my spoolie brush and brush all my eyebrow hairs upwards. Next, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm going to take that on my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush, which looks like this um i do use it for wing liner but only on clients on myself i just use it for eyebrows so i'm going to start by drawing a straight line under my eyebrow following an actual shape and then just do the same starting from about here and then outlining it at the top too. I want to get to the front of the brow I'm going to turn my brush upside down so like that I'm just going to do little hair strokes upwards so now I've done my eyebrows I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm literally just gonna put a bit under my brow like that. And then I'm just gonna take a flat brush like that to carve out my brows. This is the MSQ Professional one that I got from a brush set on eBay. I will link it in the description box. It's literally amazing for brows. So I'm just gonna carve it out. Then if there's a bit too much product, you just want to kind of like blend it down rather than sideways. Because you don't want it to look cakey. Blend it all the way to your eyelid. And then to buff it out, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush. This is also from MSQ Professional, from the brush set that I got from eBay. So I'm just going to buff it all into my eyelid. And then to set it, I'm going to take my MAC prep and prime translucent powder I'm going to use my morphe e28 brush to apply it just because we're not using any eyeshadow I don't want the concealer to crease because that is a not a cute look so just gonna put the translucent powder in my crease on my lid mm. I'm just gonna repeat it on this eye Right, now time for wing liner. I'm going to take my Rimmel Glam Eyes Liquid Eyeliner. I normally use a gel on clients just because it's easier. But on myself, I use a liquid just because it's easier. So I'm going to take about that much. So a really thin amount. So basically to do the wing, I'm going to draw a straight line between my top lash line and my bottom lash line just pointing towards my eyebrow and I'm going to do the same on that side which will make it symmetrical if you just follow the steps you're going to get a fluky flick you literally just want to do that Not literally so quick So, from about three quarters of the way out, you want to just put your brush there and drag it in. So, let me show you. Just like that. So, you've got like your silhouette of the wing. So, you just want to fill it in with some more eyeliner and 
so you could either leave it like that and rub off the little excess line thing but because I like it really pointy I'm just gonna connect it to make it really really sharp so from the top line I'm just gonna make it meet at the end point So once you've done that you want to line your lash line but you want to make it thinner in the inner corner so remember thinner inner and you just want it to kind of gradually get thicker so I'm just going to start from here and connect it to the wing it's so much easier to do this when you look down because if you look up and the eyeliner is wet that's going to go on my crease and I'm not trying to do that I'm really just not trying to do that you just want to get closer to your lash line the further into your inner corner you get. So I'm just going to repeat the same steps on my other eye. Symmetrical or symmetrical? Which one is it? Right, so now time for mascara. I don't even wear fake lashes on a night out anymore. So, yeah. I'm going to use my Maybelline, the Colossal Go Extreme Mascara, the leather black one. This is so, so good. Um, I don't curl my eyelashes either because... I'm a bit sceptical about using eyelash colours because I just get scared that, you know when you just like hold them down, that when I let go that they're just going to like cut my eyelashes off. So I just push my eyelashes up myself. I'm using my finger as an eyelash colour. Oh, not my middle one. That's rude. I'll use my index finger because I was swearing at you lot. Sorry about that. I just want to push them upwards. I blink when I put mascara on just because I find that it makes my eyelashes so much longer. So yeah, I'm going to put some on my lower lashes too and repeat the steps on the other eye. So yeah, I've done mascara. Um, I'm now going to go in with uh, eyeliner for my waterline and I'm going to be using the one that I always use which is the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade Very Black. So I'm just going to colour my waterline in. So now I'm happy with that I'm going to go straight into my skin. Um, the first thing I'm going to use is my MAC Strobe Cream. If you can see it. In the shade Gold Lime. I'm just going to put a bit onto the back of my hand. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Essential Foundation Brush just to apply the strobe cream to my cheeks. Well, to my face, like not just my cheeks. I'm then going to go in with my iconic London Illuminator Drops in the shade Original. I'm literally just going to squeeze some in to the little thing so I'm just gonna put it over my face um, I want to do what other YouTubers do just like put it there so it looks like they're crying pure glowiness Right, I'm going to go back in with the same brush, just to give me some extra glow. Whoa! Oh my god. 
my ring light is literally just illuminating everything. Oh my god, this is not Sonia. This is Sylvia. <laughs> this is Sylvia suit. Oh my god, that is jokes. Sylvia. I'm literally silver. Hmm. God, I didn't realise it made me look this glowy. But I love a glow. So, I'm now going to go in with my favourite foundation in the whole wide world. I've tried so many and this is my absolute favourite. It is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Barcelona. It's literally a dream. The consistency is just so creamy. The, the colour is just incredible. Like I just love the colour on me. So, oh my god, I'm running out. Oh my god, I'm actually running out. Oh my god, this is so sad. But yeah, I'm going to use my last bit to show you what I look like on a night out. I'm just going to put some, not some, I'm going to put loads on my face because it's a medium to full coverage foundation. But obviously I love full coverage. Especially because I don't want to sweat medium coverage off on a night out. So I'm literally just going to smother this everywhere. It hasn't got a pump so I'm literally just taking the end of a brush and scooping it out i actually look really scary like you lot probably aren't taking me seriously what is she doing does she know anything about makeup so i'm gonna go in with my real techniques a multitask brush just to pat my foundation in patting is the best way because it just gives you the best coverage so yeah once i've done that I'm going to go back in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm just going to put it under my eyes. I'm going to put it on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, top of my lip, and on my chin. I'm going to take my MSQ fluffy brush to blend it all. I'm just going to go back here with my multitask brush and blend the concealer and foundation together because we don't want any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to bronze my face up with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark Deepest. I'm just going to take a Morphe brush. Again, this is one I got out of a set. Um, I got it years ago. So I'm just going to start from the top of my ear and in circular motions, I'm just going to drag it towards my mouth I love a proper bronzy look so I literally just put loads on but it's completely up to you how much you want to put on I'm just extra so and I'm an Essex girl so I'm proper into that Essex glam so yeah next I'm going to contour my nose using an angled brush this is from the MSQ professional brush set that I got from eBay so I'm going to try and explain it a little bit better than my last video because I've done the exact same thing but I just didn't really know how to explain it. You basically just want to carry on from here and just do a straight line where mine comes out, mine goes down and then it goes wider. I don't want that. I kind of just want it to be the same size from this bone bit here all the way down to the tip. So I'm just going to try and draw a line with my bronzer if that makes sense i'm so sorry it's so hard to explain this bit i'm literally just gonna go down to make it more narrow and slimmer i mean i've lost three stone already but the only place i haven't lost it is from my bloody nose in fact i actually think like losing weight makes your nose look bigger so i'm just kind of coming down here because I don't want a butter nose, I want a pointy nose. Not like overly pointy, but I do like a bit of a point on my nose. Did 
Did you see what I done came with a fat nose left with a slim one? Mmm. Mmm, come on. S Huss out here. So, that's all done now for a bit of extra glow. I mean, look at my skin. It's glowing. Trust me, that illuminator and that strobe cream literally just do bits. And plus, the Nars Sheer Glow is a dewy foundation. So, it just, all of it put together is just a dream. A dream in one. Right, so now I'm going to go and highlight my face with the Doll Beauty highlighter in the shade Shine Bright. The best highlighter ever ever invented you can get it from the doll beauty website i will um put the link in the description box um but if you're from the uk you can actually get them from top shop stores um with student discount it comes to nine pound so it's really really affordable and it's so so good so i'm just gonna take a bit i'm gonna start from about here so just above where i applied my bronzer I'm just going to swerve up and put a little bit on my temples as well. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. There can never be too much glow. I'm also going to put some on the bridge of my nose. Just makes your skin look extra dewy. Some on my forehead. Top of the lip. Mm. Chin. Mm. I'm then going to go in with this little flat brush that I got from Tiger. It was like a pound. I'm just going to put it under the arch of my brow just to lift it slightly because I love a proper arched brow. I forgot to mention, if the bottom of your eyes do crease, you can just use a translucent powder. Luckily, mine don't always crease. Sometimes I will use a translucent powder. Sometimes I'll just risk it, but the concealer is pretty good. So even if it does crease, it's really not that bad. I'm now going to go straight in to the final step, which is lips. And I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Bang. I'm just going to outline my lips. I don't know why I said it like that. Like I wasn't even doing it. I'm just going to outline my lips. So I'm then going to go in with my NYX Cosmetics Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Morocco. I literally love the colour of this. It's amazing. that's the finished look if you like this video then give it a thumbs up also don't forget to share and subscribe